Question 10 of the 2000. Okay, question 10 of the 2015. Plants require trace metal nutrients such as zinc for healthy growth. Zinc ions are absorbed from soil through the plant roots. The zinc ion concentration of a solution can be found by adding a compound which gives a blue colour to the solution with the zinc ions. The concentration of zinc ions is determined by measuring the absorbance of light by the blue solution. The higher the concentration of zinc ions in a solution, the more light is absorbed. A student prepared a stock solution with a zinc ion concentration of 1 gram per litre. Samples from this were diluted to pr produce solutions of known zinc ion concentration. Okay. The stock solution was prepared by adding 1 gram of zinc metal granules to 20 centimetres cubed of 2 molar sulfuric acid in a 1 litre standard flask. The flask was left for 24 hours without a stopper. The solution was then diluted to 1,000 1, centimetres cubed, so 1 litre, with water. Okay, so what that means is at the end of everything, uh, we have all the zinc ions are in are in the solution, and therefore we've got one gram in the liter. Explain fully why the flask was left for twenty four hours without a stopper. Right, we've got two marks here, so you're going to have to come up with two things. the The first one is that zinc. You know, think of your mazat metals: magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, tin. It's the middle of the road in terms of in terms of reactivity, and you need it to completely react. Okay, you need every single bit of the zinc to react. So one, we are looking for a complete reaction. Okay. But that complete reaction is producing a gas. So if I leave a stopper on, then what will happen is that basically the gas will build up and then pop the stopper off. Okay, so what I need to do for two is to allow the gas to escape. And that deals with the 24 hours and it deals with the without a stopper. Okay. Explain why the student should use deionized water or distilled water rather than tap when preparing the stock solution. So stock solution means that we need to have it precisely at one gram per litre. And that means that we need to have something that we're absolutely certain is just giving us the zinc because we've put the zinc in. Tap water, however, tap water is potentially got impurities in it. And I mean, it might be zinc ions in there and if it's got zinc ions in it then that's going to mess up our one gram per litre. Um, it could be other things as well, it could be other ions um, and those other ions could also impact on our, our reaction that's going on, okay, because they might react with the sulfuric acid producing their own ones. So basically that's why we need to get rid of any potential for being mugged up. Okay, solutions of known zinc ion concentration were prepared by transferring accurate volumes of the stock solution to standard flasks and diluting with water. Name the piece of apparatus which should be used to transfer 10 centimetres cubed of stock solution to a standard flask. Um, yeah, it's a pipette. That's it. Uh, the only answer. Calculate the concentration in mix per litre of the solution prepared by transferring 10 centimetres cubed of the 1 gram per litre stock solution to a 1,000 centimetre cubed standard flask and making up to the mark. It's a kind of odd question, this one, to be honest, because you end up just going back and forward with your um, with your multipliers. Okay, so um, let's start off with, we've got 1,000 centimetres cubed, okay, um, is 1 gram. We are looking for 10 centimetres cubed of that of that solution okay so 10 divided by 1000 times by 1 means that I am taking out 0 0.01 grams and then I'm making that up to my to my, my 1000 okay centimetres cubed so 0 0.01 grams go to the back of your data book um, you'll get your your mix is 10 to the minus 3 grams Okay, so what we've got to do is times that by a thousand, which means that really I'm looking at 10 mg per litre. So see, it feels strange because you're going 10 and ending up with a 10. Um, you just have to trust your maths on that one, okay? C. Uh, the light absorbance of different solutions was measured, results plotted. 
the solution prepared from a soil sample was tested to determine the concentration of zinc. Solution had an absorbance of 0.3. Determine the concentration of mix per litre of zinc ions in the solution. Okay, this is actually a lot trickier than it looks because your automatic thing is to say, right, okay, absorbance is 0.3. Read it across. I've got a point there. Read it down. It's 4 mg per litre. That is wrong. Okay, now I am going to struggle to draw this on in an exam. You would obviously do this better. Um, what you need to do is to recognise these lines are on a nice set of points. Oh, that was close. Okay, here is your line of best fit. That one there, that that one at three is actually dodgy. Like it is off the it's off the line. So what you're going to get is the mark for you drawing on a line of best fit, and then taking your point three and actually it's going to end up over here somewhere and then reading it down and getting your number okay um when i did it on the actual physical paper um i was i was okay i was within the range of the of the mark scheme the mark scheme is 4.6 to 4.8 but if you've drawn a line of best fit the marker has to check it so i mean even if that if i take it in the middle of there read that down Okay, that's within that range. Okay, so yeah, just be careful in the reading. It's not as nice as it looks on that one. And that's that question.